I'm Froggy, and here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. This week, our dolls don't have time to make a home-cooked meal. So we have put together some of our favorite DIY fast food crafts. From hamburgers to a drive through we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I am going to make a fast food restaurant for a doll using a recycled cereal box, clear plastic from packaging, a newspaper ad, recycled cardboard, paper, paperboard, and glue. I start by tracing the cereal box onto a piece of cardboard, cut it out, sketch a large double door, cut out the windows, remove the tabs from the top of the box, cut down one side so it can open up. Cut out a window, cover with paper, and I started by going around the windows with white paper. I used scrapbook paper to attach the side wall with a tan on top, black on bottom, and a white trim. Inside the box, I went with a lighter color and a checkered board floor. On the outside of the box, I used brick and tan paper. I cut clear plastic to glue over the doorway. Use a metallic scrapbook paper to cover the edges to make the door. Cut, cover with paper, bend it, and glue it above the door. To make an arch, glue trim around the window, add a small arch, cut and glue together two pieces of cardboard, and cut a smaller rectangle. Cover with paper, roll a paper tube, make two, wrap them with paper to match, Cut out fast food ads from a newspaper, glue them on, use strips of paper for trim, and to make a small speaker at the bottom. Glue the paper tubes onto the small rectangle, glue on the sign to make a drive through On the inside of the box, cut a long piece of paperboard, cover with paper to extend the floor. Cut and cover cardboard to make a shelf for the back wall. Cut rectangles of cardboard, stack and glue a few together, cover with paper, glue the large rectangle onto the back of the smaller one, then glue the stack of cardboard on top. Glue beads underneath, cut out images from a newspaper or magazine, or printable labels from our blog. Glue them on top, add scrap of paper, and a cut piece of a straw for a soda dispenser. Cut a long rectangle of cardboard and two thinner ones. Fold in the sides of the larger rectangle so it can fit on top of the thinner ones. Cover with paper, glue them together, use scrapbook paper for decoration, cut and cover three rectangles of cardboard, glue a cutout of a computer screen onto the large rectangle, glue the rectangles together to make cash registers and complete the counter. On a piece of covered cardboard, glue down more of the ads, glue it across the top for the menu. Take the cutouts from the window and door, cut them to make sure they can fit inside the box. I trim the cutout from the window to use as a tabletop, bend the door cutouts using a doll as a guide, trim the door cutouts for chairs that can fit underneath the shelf, cover them with paper, Glue them onto the wall, adding a triangle of cardboard underneath for support. To make a seating area, cut out a picture of food, glue it to the wall to show the special of the day. Add our paper burgers from a previous video, and you're done. Happy crafting! to make a hamburger for a doll using toilet paper, computer paper, paint, chalk pastels, watercolors, water, a plastic bag, and glue. I start by taking a small piece of toilet paper. I tear off just enough to make a ball, which is going to be the top of the bun. Dip it into the water, squeeze off the excess, 
reshape it into a flattened circle. Take a small piece of toilet paper and dip it into the water. Then place it over the flattened circle. Just tucking it in around the edges and remove the excess. Continue to shape it, adding layers of toilet paper until it is the desired size. Place it on a piece of plastic, then gently push down on the outer edges so that the bottom becomes flat. Begin making another one, only this time I make it flat on the top and bottom. Make another one for the patty and allow it to dry. To make lettuce, we cut small squares of paper, then cut a jagged shape on the inside. Paint it with watercolors, leaving some white for the veins in the leaf. Paint both sides and allow it to dry. Gently brush it with a layer of glue to seal it. Cut white paper into small squares. Paint them with acrylic paint to make sliced cheese. Stack and glue together a few layers of paper. Cut small circles. Paint it red. Paint a lighter circle on the inside. Paint four letter C's around the inside in red. Add tiny yellow dots to make sliced tomato. Now that the toilet paper is completely dried, use chalk pastels to color the hamburger buns. Starting with the yellow, and I colored the top, leaving the underside white. Then I add a little brown to give it a golden finish. Seal it with a thin layer of glue to make the hamburger bun. Take the other disc of toilet paper and paint it brown with acrylic paint. Dab it with a little red paint. Paint grill lines to make hamburger patties. Now, using all of the ingredients that we have made, we can stack them together. And build a burger. Resize it to fit your doll. And you're done. Happy crafting! If you're in town, we drive around as long as I take the wheel. If I could just share my view, maybe I'm too taboo. If everyone knew. I am going to make a bag of fast food for a doll using fast food wrappers, a fast food paper bag, craft paint, craft foam, clear beads, hot glue, a coated paper clip, recycled computer paper, and glue. I start by cutting a rectangle out of the bag. I fold around the portion I would like to use for the front. I make folds for the sides. I make a crease to make the back the same size as the front, trim off any excess, apply glue to the side before closing it up. And before the sides are glued together, I can choose to cut a little zigzag at the top for a little added detail. After the sides have been glued and dried, I cut small slits in the bottom corners, fold them in, and use glue to make a doll size fast food bag. And now I need something to go in the bag. So I cut a small rectangle out of the bag, fold it in half, fold the sides back, open it back up, trim off the lower folded rectangles, cut a curve off the top, cut the corners off the top, apply glue to the side tabs, then fold them in and fold up the back. Once dry, I push in the bottom, cut thin strips of craft foam, cut them into small pieces. With an angled tip, apply glue to the lower half, then glue them inside to make fries. Cut circles out of tan and brown craft foam and small squares out of yellow. Glue them together. Cut a small piece of a fast food wrapper Wrap it around the craft foam to make cheeseburgers. Straighten out a paper clip, 
Curl a recycled piece of computer paper around it, starting at one corner, and I make sure to curl it at an angle so that it makes a cone. Use glue to secure the end, remove the paper clip, I cut a section out of the tube, using craft paint, carefully paint the inside of the tube, score a paper clip, and remove the plastic coating, fill the bottom with a little hot glue, and allow it to dry, then carefully fill the top with more hot glue, and I like to add a little bit of hot glue at a time, allowing it to dry between each layers so that it doesn't come out the bottom end. On the top layer, I add a bead and the coating from the paper clip to make a fountain drink with ice and a straw. And you're done. Happy crafting! I am going to make a chicken biscuit for a doll using recycled fast food wrappers, aluminum foil, baking soda, cornstarch, water, chalk pastels, paper, a clear glue like Mod Podge, a microwave safe bowl, and glue. I start by adding one tablespoon of cornstarch, two tablespoons of baking soda, and one tablespoon of water to a microwave safe bowl. Stir until completely mixed. Microwave for 15 to 20 seconds, then stir until cooled. If the dough is a little too crumbly, then I dip my hands in water and continue kneading until it is the consistency of Play-Doh. Then pull off a small amount, roll it into a ball, make a few more the same size, and store the excess dough in an airtight bag until kneaded. Then take one and push down to flatten the top and bottom. Crumble a piece of aluminum foil, take the flattened circle, and scrape and push the foil around the edges gently on top to make a biscuit. Then repeat to make more. Take another ball of dough and heavily texture it with the foil, removing small amounts here and there to make fillets of fried chicken. Then make two biscuits half as thick to look like one that has been cut. Then allow them to dry for a few minutes until the top becomes firm and underneath the dough is still soft. Then place the chicken filet on top into the softened dough. Place the other piece of the biscuit on top and gently push it down, taking care not to crack the dough. And at this state, the dough is dried just enough so the pieces do not stick together. Use the remaining dough to make longer filets for chicken strips. Roll the dough into an oval Squish it slightly and texture it to make a chicken nugget. Allow them to air dry and drying times may vary depending on their thickness. Or bake it in the oven at 175 until dried. Once out of the oven, allow it to cool. Use a butter knife to shave chalk pastels into a fine powder. And I'm going to use a mustard yellow, a bright yellow, a brown, and a cream. Using a paintbrush, I begin to lightly dust the biscuits with the cream around the edges and on top. Mix a little cream and brown and lightly dust the top for the biscuits. For the chicken, I start with this golden yellow and heavily apply it all over, making sure to get down into all the nooks and crannies. But I'm careful not to break off the texture. Take a little brown and lightly dust it, then a tiny touch of a bright yellow to make the chicken. Seal them with a layer of Mod Podge, reassemble the chicken biscuit, take an empty fast food bag, cut it down the side to cut out a rectangle. Make creases around the logo, make folds for the sides, the back, then trim off the excess, leaving a little left over. Then flip it over, fold up the bottom, make small cuts on the corner creases, then fold over the extra tab and glue it to the side. Then fold in the bottom tabs and glue them in place. Fold in the sides, pinching the top closed, and cut a small zigzag along the top edge to make the bag. 
Cut small squares from the wrapper to wrap the biscuit. I can also cut two squares from the wrapper, crumble one of the squares into the shape of a biscuit, place it in the middle of the other wrapper, fold the wrapper around it to make the illusion of a sandwich. Roll paper around a paintbrush, use glue to secure the end to make a cone. Cut out a section to make a drink like we did in our previous fast food video. Only this time we cut a piece of the label from a straw wrapper and glued it to the cup. And you're done. Happy crafting! Thank you for joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup. Let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. Follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog, and we will see you next time. Bye! Every relation is a struggle these days. Try to keep them alive, but we throw them away. Oh.